Welcome all to the sadist factory, beloved realm of Holy Master Rand and his low, uh, ro loyal, devoted forces of laborers and skilled artisans. Devotion to the one true master, all praise be granted to the sacred cha chains, the sacred chains and pillars, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm ready to recover from a rough day, yes, sir, that's for sure. You had to bake a cake and arrange a flower bouquet for the wife's birthday. Oh, that's nice. Good, good on you. Good on you. Um, I did, speaking of sacred chains, I did a little bit on the pyramid, but not that much because I couldn't figure out what I want to do with arches. I just have yet to figure it out. So I just, I added another layer of uh, pillars. I added another layer of pillar, pillars of the temple. I don't know if I want to just keep going up higher and higher with the pillars or if I want to add arches. You know, I tried to make an arch thing and I... I can do like concrete arches and make it gold, but I don't know that I can get proportions right in a way that I like. Hard to get the proportions right. You can see on my, um, I was over on the uh, blueprint. My game has been lagging like crazy lately too. I was trying to mess with the pillars and stuff and it's just kind of not quite doing what I wanted to do. Behold the sacred chains. It looks clean though. I'm glad you like it. I want to keep, I do want to do something with arches, but Getting the build right, I I didn't spend a lot of time because I spent a lot of time doing what I needed to do, which was filling in walls on a bunch of porta potties. I mean factories. And also, uh, I got my train mostly set up. I think I finished the train that we started at the end of the stream on last Friday. So I created a new loop. Is this the one? No, that's oil train. Uh, I created a new loop that goes down and around, and it's collecting, uh, silicon. So, let me show off our silicon train over here, which looks the same as all of our trains. Uh, because the first thing we're probably going to need to get done today is get a truck set up to deliver that silicon to, uh, a new factory. But, uh, so far we got set up last time, we got silicon here, and hopefully it is delivering stuff. Yep, we got a full thing of silicon, so that's good. Uh, so I got my silicon train set up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a uh, delivery of silicon to our factory that needs the silicon. Which is, uh, I think we're doing... Uh, I can't even remember what we're working on. But I really want to get phase three, if not completed, at least the materials all started for phase three. Because I've been working on factories and I want to actually get to the next phase. I want to get like aluminum and stuff going. Maybe stagger the arches every other section. Yeah, maybe something. The hardest part about the arches, blueprinting it, is making it so that where I place it is on even flat ground. Because the arches are kind of weird in that they're made of sideways pillars in an arch formation. And when you set blueprints if you don't have something to place them on, they, like, are floating. And so trying to get it to not be floating is a little bit of a pain. So, well, I haven't done more with the arches yet. Also, I just, I, I've been really bored lately, and I worked on busy work, and I just didn't feel like doing the arch work after spending, like, two hours making a, an extra train section. So, um... Uh, all right, so here we go. Let's get the output of these guys. You thought the lag was just you? No, I've been having some serious lag with the game. When I was... I'm really glad I didn't um, try to make the train for... Uh, for the silicon on stream, because I was lagging like a mofo trying to build a, a really long train track through the red forest. I don't know what's causing all the lag. I'll be honest, every time I play this game in a new playthrough and I get mid to late game, I start remembering the biggest frustration of this game, which is optimization. It's just never been very good on this game. Like, It's probably because there are just too many items in the game or too many things trying to be loaded at the same time. But it's, it always gets so freaking laggy for my computer. The turbo gen. I don't know if other people have this issue, but I assume I'm not the only one that deals with 
poor optimization and lag in this game when you get a lot of items all trying to load at the same time. Uh, Pyramid feels like some solid time was poured into the building the ziggurat. I've definitely spent some time over the last few weeks on the ziggurat, that's for sure. I just didn't want to go. I just, I didn't want to, the, the longest time is like figuring out the actual decorations and what I want to do, so. Uh, for every five meters of construction of the status factory, ten laborers have doodly sacrificed their lives for the glory of the master. Do the math. Okay, sure. Uh, you're going to silently mooch some cookies. All right, enjoy the cookie mooching. Enjoy the cookie mooching. Can you reduce your draw distance? Um... I've set a bunch of my settings to low. No upscaling method. Upscaling screen percentage. Render distance. I can set it to near, I guess. Basically, I have to play with worse settings, I guess. I think that might be the only distance setting. I'll apply that. Maybe that'll help. You're not experiencing a any lag because you play Factorio, lol. Great, great. Glad to hear it. Um, they've added recipe control for logic systems, so now you're trying to assemble an automatic mail that crafts anything you ask it from raw resources. Well, wow, that sounds cool. Power of 2D games, no lag, yeah, yeah. Power of 2D games, that's right. Uh, I don't have a sulfur delivery, do I? I don't, that's okay though. So... I think this is about... One space... About there, is that right? Let me go check this. Uh, one space. Yes, I think that's right. This is basically the last... See that lag right there? It's just lag for no reason. I don't know what caused it. And that happens constantly. It's just constant lag. I don't... When I was trying to set up my... Uh, my train tracks in the... Uh, in the Red Forest, it kept doing that here. I don't know if I lined that up actually correctly. I was saying something and now I don't know what I was saying. Draw distance was a thing with Minecraft. At least you don't know if it was applied to this game. I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, every time the auto saves, it ob obviously lags. You know, I'm, I'm used to that. If it was only the auto save lag, I kind of would be fine with it. Like right there, there's the auto save lag. But it happens like when I move through the world quickly. And when I move through the world quickly, the game's like, okay, no, I gotta load all this stuff, so you gotta wait. Just sit there and wait for a bit. And it was, uh, it was really bad while I was um, trying to build. Um, trying to build the train station that I, I put together, so. Gonna have to get used to it. To get used to the lag. Alright, all that flowing. We got silicon flowing. Okay, and then we need the outputs, which are lined up. How are they in the middle? One space and then in the middle. Okay. Okay. One space and then in the middle, about there. Uh, like loading in chunks, reducing draw distance, made it so you didn't have to load in as many chunks. Yeah, I don't know if Satisfactory has that or not. Just get a better PC, Rand. I, I really wish I could just get a better PC or update the um, maybe graphics card and 
hard drive on this computer. I think part of the issue is that all of my games I have on a secondary non-SD drive. Um, because, you know, I just have a lot of games and I don't have a giant SD drive to place them all on, so... Uh, the hard drive that my Windows is on, whatever that is called. I know, all the all the stuff you want to be fast. Uh, your processor, what is it called? Your operating system, that's what I'm thinking of, uh, is on a different hard drive than all my games are, which is on a terabyte size um, non-SD drive, so that's probably part of the issue. Uh, you wish you could buy a time machine so you can work, play, and sleep for a change. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see here. That should line up. That should line up. Is all that good? I think that's good. Okay. Let's go here and here. And this is going to be silicon truck station. Okay, and I need to get the fuel delivered here. Although, before I do that, I'm going to get all this going into here so that we can get our materials moving. Move, move, moving along. Hope that something better comes along. Have I tried putting a coupon in the sink yet? I'm pretty sure that's one of the first things I did with the sink. I forget what it unlocks, but I'm pretty sure I did that. Pretty sure I did that. Yeah. When you upgrade your system, you should definitely switch to NVMe SSD instead of HDD. Okay. Try to remember to do that. If I ever upgrade my system. <laughs> Alright, uh, and this is... Uh, splitter. put my coffee cup in there too. I haven't even bought a coffee cup. I know some people think the coffee cup is amazing. To me, it's kind of distracting to have my guy or girl or person constantly drinking coffee. And I don't drink coffee in real life, so I feel like I'd be a big fat liar if I was drinking coffee in the video game. So, all right. Uh, so there's our silicone. Let's go get figure out where we're delivering it to. And then one of the first things we'll do today is program another truck station delivery. Fourth generation NVMe SSD is great. I should just be drinking tea. Good call on not drinking coffee. Okay. Well, what I will say about the NVMe SSD is I think I have that. I think that's what my operating system is on. The problem is when I, like, priced hard drives when I built this PC, I don't know. Gosh, it's been a number of years now. Uh, I don't think NVMe SSDs were very cheap. I think they were pretty darn expensive at the time, actually, so. Um, was this the factory? Yes, silica. So, I need to deliver silica here. Which, I want my... I've yet to deliver to an inner ring and I want to avoid delivering to an inner ring so I think what I'm going to do is what I did on another one over there where I have a delivery on this side this side of the thing here so let me get that set up again no not that this one two there one I think. I don't want to use up 
too much space because I'm going to want to use this space for factory space over here. But if I do this, it will give me a, hopefully a little... Uh, yeah, quick little delivery, delivery area here. You get a fun little thing if you sink the coffee cup too. All right, well, maybe I'll actually do that at some point. I'm, people always talk about, oh, these fun little things. And it's like, okay, that's cool. I'm trying to actually make progress in my game though. So I'm not, I'm not doing a lot of the fun little things that everybody else likes to do uh, in this game, I guess. I, trying to do the functional things so maybe eventually I will do these fun little things uh, but I'm trying to just uh, finish maybe not finish um, what does this feel like this is more sp oh yes the uh, place for it to park that's what I need parking placement A shogi will tell you from other games. He does the building for funsies and looks. I do the functional stuff. I always do functional stuff. Otherwise, I'm not often doing this stuff just for the looks and stuff. So eventually, maybe I will do the fun stuff. I'm doing the cool functional stuff rather than the fun looking interesting stuff. Okay. Customizer. I guess I should stop and smell the roses, though, huh? Silly question. Why have a line divided, lane divided row if you never use one of the lanes? Um, because I probably will eventually use the lanes. But for now, because it, it's expansion space. Why build a wide road if you only have enough people to use one lane? Because you're hoping to expand into that extra, into those extra lanes. So, that's my answer. My answer is so that I have expansion space. I might eventually need to use the inner roads. I don't yet, but I'm, a, I'm assuming I eventually will. And it might be a little bit of a lie when I say I don't use those, because I, I think I have in one case, I think I actually have, um, used um, an inner road maybe one maybe even two cases so yes future rand approves of this metro uh, message I am trying to future proof my build is the quick answer uh what are the what am I building here high speed connectors I think That's what I'm building here. Yes, high speed connector. So this is going to be. Uh, silicon high speed connector station. Go. All right, so this is where we're delivering, and this will actually be our first test of if my uh, loop is drivable or not, I guess, after creating it. Uh, so I'm gonna not do the outputs yet. Let me go. Let me go walk the loop. Make sure if I place a truck and then program it, uh, all my lines and everything are set. Make sure past Rand or future Rand or whichever version of Rand doesn't drive off the edge over there. Oh man, these bugs are just spawning in here. I don't even know if I can hit that through the floor. Okay, I did hit that. Good. Is there another one under here? I think there is, isn't there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, they could just spawn on top of my uh, my factory. All right, let me uh, cut some stuff down here. Um, you've checked my PC specs. I have listed on my Twitch site. If nothing has changed, I have 240 gig SSD with no N N NVMe. I have a flash drive where an NVMe is just a small little bar. Okay. 
Okay, then maybe I don't have an MV in me or whatever. God, I can't even walk here to cut this down. Come on. Fucking lag, man. Did I cut that down good? Swap the pest and build, build, build. Well, I did that. I swatted the pest last week. And I think things respawn. I feel like one of the things they should do if they haven't ever done it is, um, can I blow this thing up? Is make it so that when you build factory on top of stuff, the respawns go away. Okay, so I can't get rid of that. So that's just there forever, unfortunately. Tree. They shouldn't spawn where you expand. Yeah, I kind of agree, and I don't. No, oh, this is not right. I need this to be a corner piece. I don't know. Um, what is that? That's an up ramp. I don't know if that's something they've ever considered or not. Okay, so I think I need an up corner ramp if it's doing that. Uh, maybe if I put it like this. I need up corner ramp here. Uh, yes. Is that right? That's... Uh, that is right. Can I fit something in there, though? Hmm. Maybe that's not right. I'm trying to get the right piece in here for this corner to look right. Uh, do 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 do. What piece is it? I always have the hardest time figuring out these corner pieces. I thought it was the down corner. I think actually my issue is that I have a a a one meter and a two meter, so they're never gonna actually fit exactly. So I'll figure that out later if I ever figure it out. Customizer patterns line. Two separate sizes. What the hell? What is happening? Why are you showing that other thing? Customization, customization already applied. Okay, I don't. That was really weird. What the hell? When did I place that there? Okay, customizer, this guy needs to go. I need a new mouse. My ergonomic mouse, the little scroll wheel, is just, it's like dying. It's not, I will scroll forward and like scrolls backwards and stuff or scroll sideways. Like I'm scrolling right now and nothing's happening there. Oh God, I have that in the wrong effing place, Jesus. Sad you can't use a chainsaw to fight off spiders. Yeah, sad. I feel like Satisfactory has killed my scroll wheel, to be honest. That's what it feels like. It feels like Satisfactory is... You, you scroll all the time to... go through different menus and things and my scroll wheel is just I scroll up and it's like goes back and forth that's uh, really annoying okay uh so that okay we're just checking to make sure I don't know when I did that make sure this road is all good so I can do my delivery of silicon temp for permanent re rent yes maybe a temper permanent thing 
Uh, laborers need to dispatch of such an annoyance to the Holy Master. They really should. They really should. Okay, let's go make a truck. Program in our delivery. Wow, that truck is flying. <laughs> Pastor Rand was in a hurry. Okay, let's get um, oh, let's get our lines here. Customizer. One, two, three. What? I didn't click or place that. I I am very confused about what's going on with my customizer right now. I wonder if my mouse is making clicks, just like my scroll wheel is. Not scrolling like I want. I feel like my mouse might be dying or something. Okay. Like, when did I place this? I didn't place that. When did I place this? I didn't place that. Customizer just keeps adding things I'm not placing. I'm so confused. I wonder if that's a bug or if it's my mouse or something. Yeah, like there's some sticky something happening. I don't even know what it is. What's up, Lichy? Thought you'd catch final stream before heading to Cape Town. Cape Town, huh? Cool. Alright, did I just pick up some coal? Yes, I did, and I did not want to pick up coal. Okay. All right, I'm gonna wait till that truck goes, and then we'll program this guy. What's up, zombie shop? Hour-long stand-up meeting at work, whereby some miracle the election wasn't discussed once. Count that as a win, yes, and hopefully it won't be discussed here. Because uh, FTL and election are not, not allowed topics today. Um... Uh, yeah, I feel like, I feel like something's going on, on with either my mouse or a bug where the customized things are just being really weird. Okay, so open record, start recording, load. Yes, we are not discussing anything involving any of that. Cape Town, like in South Africa? Yeah, where even is Cape Town? I feel like I've heard of that, but I don't know where it is. Okay. There we go. Let's move it. Well, good start of driving. Should have practiced my driving first, I guess. Give my mouse a bath. I don't think that will be good for it. I don't think that would be good for it. Although I do need to give my... Uh, I have cleaned out my uh, keyboard in the past, unplug it and, you know, take off all the switches from your mechanical keyboard and, like, use the condensed air, blow out all the dust and hair and stuff, and, like, use alcohol to clean out all the sensors and switches. I need to actually do that with my keyboard. It's been a long time since I've done that, and I need to do it. South Africa, it's the best part of the country, in your opinion? Cape Town? Wow, that's cool. I have never been in that part of the world. Honestly, Africa sounds terrifying to me, because, you know, there's literal lions and tigers. I don't know if there's bears, but I know there's lions and tigers and other things. And rhinos and things that will get... Oh, no! This is a loading node, and I didn't set this to unload. Okay, well, if I do this and do it to unload, can I now do it? There we go. Well, this delivery is going to be a little bit longer than it should be then. Lions are just big cats. Be nice to them and they won't hurt you. Um, I don't know if it works that way. Wild animals. I mean, I think they are scared of humans because, you know, we hunt them and stuff, but... 
I don't hunt them, and I'm afraid they would hunt me. Would I recommend the mechanical keyboard if it's not for gaming? 100% yes. Until you've used a mechanical keyboard, you don't realize how in imprecise a non-mechanical keyboard feels, is what I will say. Oh, I have a bunch of floating stuff up there I need to fix. Even if you're not gaming, if you honestly, mechanical keyboards are better, even better for non-gaming stuff that you use a keyboard for, like lots of typing. Like, um, a mechanical keyboard, it's so easy to tell when you've misclicked something, so it gives you a lot more precision on when you are trying to be precise with your clicks. Well, maybe not your clicks, your types or your key presses or whatever. Mechanical keyboards are absolutely amazing. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Oh, there's a guy in delivery. I wonder if I'm going to be able to sneak past him or not. I might bump into him here if I bump into him. Get past her. Oh, left me just enough space. Just enough space. Okay, good. All right, just enough space. Go faster, Past Rand. <laughs> You're driving like a maniac over here, Past Rand. All right, here we go. F. Okay. And... Enable autopilot. Okay. What's the wait time on this? One second? You should be 25 seconds. Firm. And this is refilling now. Okay. And... Your coworker has a mechanical keyboard and it's so loud. That's the downside of it. Mechanical keyboards are loud. Like if you have another person... Like when I first got one, I was living with... Uh, my ex, and she would tell me sometimes how loud it was, but that's that's the downside. Everything else is upside. The downside is, yeah, they're really loud. They are really loud. It's true. Depending on the switches, you can get different types of switches that are louder or softer, and I kind of have, like, the middle-of-the-road ones, like the red switches or blue or something. They have, like, three different colors or something like that. Silica. This... Uh, you were nearly killed at work for bringing a mechanical keyboard in, huh? Um, but the clicky clank is so nice. Well, if you have, you know, headphones and you don't even hear it, but, you know, when you work with coworkers, yeah. All right, let me, let me remember how much we're doing here because I have, how much silicon am I doing? Um. We're doing the cheap silica, and I have one limestone thing of 480, so 480 divided by 37.5, is that right? So yeah, so we're doing 12.8 of these guys, 12.8 times 52.5. I think I'm doing about 672 silicon a second, I think. 672 per second silicon. Speaking of loud, can y'all hear the uh, weed whacker or lawnmower outside? I sure can. Okay. Okay, I think that's right. Okay, so there we go. We got silicon. I really want to get phase three going today. If not completed, I want to at least have everything automated for phase three because I think I'm now finally building the last prerequisite for all of those items. Yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier where if you want to build um, an arch, you got to do kind of this thing where you like use this kind of floating thing, go to the side. So you take a pillar and you connect it. Oops. And then you get rid of these three pieces. 
and then you do it all the way around and make an arch. The thing is, it's got like this overlap, so I, I couldn't really find, and I can make it look gold, so I can make gold pillars, but I can't really make it not overlap, so I kind of gave up on that off stream. Or chose to work on other things, which was, you know, the silicon thing that I've been working on, so. so that's part of the reason I didn't finish that. I'm gonna go um deconstruct this these floating pillars over here. Once it's automated, you can just let your computer run when you go to rehearsal, or I don't know, sleep. Yeah, I know. I know. I know that's I will be doing that. Um the thing is if I can get the build done early in the stream the delivery of items might just happen during the stream as I work on other stuff so we'll see we'll see if we can get that far today that's that's my goal All right, high speed connectors uh, let me get power going here my goal is to get everything automated for Phase three to be working during the stream. What I will say is I think I have 2,500 of the versatile frames already, I think, from our previous phase. And then another thing I need to do is get them over from my old base to this new base. So, okay. So, is this thing delivering? Oh, did I update the delivery time? This only needs to be 25 seconds, actually. And you have stuff. Okay, cool. So let's deliver this across. This way. How many do I need a minute? Let's check that. I have some really weird noise dubbing or every word is just me. You don't hear a weird noise. Try refreshing. Yes. If, if there's an audio issue and only one person's hearing it, usually it's a refresh problem. So hopefully a refresh will fix it. Um, let's see here. Power in. Okay, is everything yellow? Everything's yellow. That's good. 37.5 times 4. 150 a minute. Alright, so a tier 3 belt will be enough. Uh, let me get my walls figured out here. Uh, ran the man with two hurt hands. Looks like there is math on stream. Yeah, there is math on stream when we play Satisfactory, that's for sure. <laughs> Definitely is math on stream while playing this game. Okay. Um, signs. Let me get my signs set up here. That's why I set this up. Please don't be upside down, for the love of God. Very good, it's not upside down. Um, the output is on the left, so the input is on the right. Good. This will be high-speed connectors, which are green. Figure out, figure out all the numbers eventually these guys right yes something a minute high speed connectors output all right and silicon is kind of this off-white color parts silicon I believe I just saw that it was 150 a minute 150 a minute silicon input. Is that right? 37.5 times 4. Yes, okay. There is occasional math on stream. There is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the silicon come in. Probably right here. And have the other things come in from the side. This is really tight, actually. Um... 
Okay, I'm changing what I did over here. This means the power line I'm gonna have to replace, but I want I want a little more extra space here for the belt to be able to move through. And power line. <laughs> that just floated there. Okay, nice, nice. Very real physics going on. Gotta love it. even, I think. Okay. There. There we go. Uh, physics is more a guideline than a rule. <laughs> Agreed. Video game rules. Those, those are the only rules that matter here. Video game rules. And now I should be good to replace this with a wall here. Silicon will be brought in. Bottom row. That. Oh, where is this? Okay, it's over there. Okay. That. Try to not go through the floor if I can help it. Beautiful. That should be silicon delivered. Make sure the silicon is getting here. Is the Carol deadline next week, 13th or 14th? Uh, I kind of just came up with a date, so I'm hoping we can get it done by the end of next week. If I need to extend the deadline, I can. Um, it's not really a hard and fast rule about the timing for this. Okay, I only need three different items here. If I need to extend the date, I will. Uh, the, the caroling stream is already confirmed. Uh, it's just for the um, stretch goal of making a two-hour stream instead of a one-hour stream. So, if you are interested in still um, participating or donating or whatever, uh, just let me know and I can extend to a slightly later date if needed. Because I don't plan on having the streams schedule this we're not going to do it till december just sometime in december is going to be the actual stream so once i once the the donation goal is met then i'm going to schedule it or i might do it earlier than maybe i might do it this weekend we'll see uh okay what do i need for i need high speed connectors um i need to figure out these items now so Physics is more of a guideline, especially in Rocket League, lol. <laughs> okay. We need quick wire and we need circuit boards. And how much quick wire do we need? We need 90 times 4 quick wire. 360 quick wire. That is a lot of quick wire. And put that number in here. Okay, parts. Wires way down over here. 360 a minute. Quick wire input. Uh, okay. Uh, 360 a minute. It's gonna be delivered right down over there. 
so two four belt about there. I'll try to line it up with this so that my spacing I can stack belts on top of each other well. This is going the wrong direction though. That's going through the wall as well. The floor, I should say. So let's do this, but a little bit higher and also in the right orientation. R, there. Okay. We go something like that so I need to bring quick wire over this way to this belt uh, and probably line it up with above these steel pipes okay so that's where we're going and I need 360 a minute how much are we currently creating of this 2160 okay we have a lot and i have all of it being delivered multiple places right now so what i think i want to do is get rid of this splitter and have the one on the left be delivering to whatever this is and the one on the right going to where i needed to go over here so thing down here that wants to fight? You filthy animal. I ain't got time for this. Okay, there we go. And then this guy over here uh, you know what I could do? Yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do this. I'm gonna change this. Or this. There we go, and then I can use that top one to bring uh quick wire need for the other one. Mark four belt. About right. A little bit higher, maybe there. Love the view, looking up at your very own towering skyscraper. Well, if you're shogi or madman, you call them giant porta potties, but I prefer the time. I, I prefer the term skyscraper myself. So yes, totally skyscrapers. As we liggity liggity lag lag. Or at least colored like a porta potty or something. So that's where we're bringing it. There's something making a sound. Oh, there's just a Mercer Sphere here with dead spider parts that I'll steal. Well, wow, nice. And something trying to fight me. <laughs> he got ran over. <laughs> the hog was trying to fight me and just got run over by my automated trucks. Uh, it's roadkill, chat. Roadkill. We have created automated roadkill creation. Uh, this looks like a shipyard to you, huh? It's industrial in scale. Even the color is the same. They're envious of my glorious city. Yum. Mmm. Roadkill. Yes, roadkill. Delicious. That actually just lets me place that there. That's kind of goofy. Okay. Apparently you can put poles on top, pop, top of poles. Or belts on top of belts. Yeah, I actually don't want it to have that. I need what here for belt thingies. There we 
go. It's what you get for playing in traffic. That's right. Should not have been playing in traffic. Just a bad time. His mama never told him. Devs are very sp sp supportive of spaghetti. Apparently they are. <laughs> That's true. You're right about that. Ouch. I appreciate their support of my spaghetti. Um, do I want it to be that way? No, I don't. That way. This one will be. Once we get it. For that guy. There we go. Alright. Um, and what is the last thing that we need? And how many of it do we need? Three times four. Three times four equals twelve. I don't know why I did that math there. But twelve circuit boards per minute. Uh, hopefully I'm making enough circuit boards. This is also a green color. Twelve per minute circuit boards input. Twelve. Ah ah ah. There's my there's my count jocula. I don't. I'm not in a very good. Um, impression mindset right now. Well, circuit boards. Ah, ah, ah. That's all I got. That's all I got right now. Um, all right, so circuit boards are being made over here. Check out many we are making. Those are AI limiters. Industrial beams, modular frames. Circuit boards. How many of these are we making right now? 39. Okay, basically 40. And how many are we using? I think we're using them for computers. Let me go see how many are being used by the computers. Hopefully not all 40. Freaking hell. We're making... We're using all 40. So I actually need to increase my circuit board production. I mean, they're backed up right now. I'm going to have so many upgrades that I'm going to need to do eventually, I feel like. Um, how easy would it be to expand this? Would it be easy or difficult? Um, do we have room behind us to do a little bit of an expansion? I feel like I do. Alright, I think I want to do an expansion of this. Because I don't want to run out of materials because I didn't, you know, plan it correctly. Let me... Uh, G... Do a little quick expansion here. Bust out this wall. Okay, uh, and this is the uh, this is the assembler factory, and we want the modular piece here, expansion piece here. So H. There we go. Is that overlapping with? That's probably overlapping with my thing over here, isn't it? Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. But then I'm going to... I don't need that big of an expansion, so I'm going to cut off the back of this is what I'm going to do. Oh. Cut off the back side of this here. So that we're not overlapping. We 
we don't want to ruin the splendor of our amazing... Uh, what should we call it? Pyramid here. Ziggurat. Whatever. Okay. Cut off these last two machines, and I think with those last two machines cut off, we should be good. Not overlap this thing. And this will be a small expansion to our circuit board production. I'm not going back down the line of the pre-circuit board production stuff because I think it's plastic and uh, copper sheets, which hopefully we're making enough of. Eventually, I'm going to have to come back through my factory and probably upgrade a lot of productions of things. For now, I'm trying to avoid that. I eventually will probably have to do that, though. Here, this is just a quick plug-and-play upgrade. Plug and play like your computer upgrades. Okay. And power lines go from Here to here, and things are not working for some reason, because I swear the power lines are buggy and blueprints. I swear the power lines and blueprints have, been has, have gotten bugged over the last couple patches. I don't know how it's happened, but like this power pole has a power line, and it's not powering things. I just don't understand. There's like they're like overlapping now or some crap. I don't even know what's happening with the power lines in the game now. Why is that one not powered? I literally the frick. Okay, I guess this one's because I haven't selected what it's making. That's probably the problem here. And maybe that's what I... I keep saying it's buggy and it's probably I, not pasting or something. Ah, <sighs> oh, god damn it, my buttons aren't working again. My hotkey buttons aren't working. When I say this game's not optimized, I also mean it's bugged the F out sometimes. I swear this game has bugged the F out in some things. The hotkeys not working is a recent development that is frustrating as hell. But yes, recipe selection, I sometimes forget. Um, but the hotkeys just not, not, just not working. Hotkeys just not working lately, and I don't know what the cause is of that. Okay, so we just increased that production. Um, I'm not even pulling from this side over here, am I? Okay. I only need 12 a minute for this next build, so... Let me use a tier 3 belt here. Yeah, I do need to do the steamed copper upgrade. Yeah, actually, that is something I need to do. When I'm ready to do a copper upgrade, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be doing a steamed copper upgrade for sure. Okay, so I want to bring this. I need to figure out which line I'm bringing this. Probably down the middle, actually. If I bring this down the middle, we'll be good. Uh, FTL salt is spilling over in a satisfactory, huh? Well, maybe. 
Have you had the bug? Have you played this game, Klaus and Mousy? Because if you haven't, you might not understand the frustration of a hotkey not working. Which is what I was just salting about. A hotkey just not working for no reason. Pretty sure it's a bug. And I'm pretty sure I watch FTL said he was having the same issue. Uh, you have played and finished it? Okay. Did, so did you never get that bug then? Wow, you finished it in 80 hours? I'll be honest, that feels like a speedrun for how much content is in this game. Because I'm at 100 and something and I'm not even close finishing this playthrough. Not even freaking close. You never had that bug. You didn't bug. You didn't use hotkeys all that much, except copy paste. Really? You didn't use hotkeys. Oh, okay. You went quite fast. Problem is that your factory looks like an eyesore. Yeah. I'm trying to make mine look at least semi-decent, so. That's my excuse for going slow, you know. But, you know, you gotta enjoy the journey. I also have a pyramid, so, you know, there's that. <laughs> Proud of my pyramid. Uh, oh, you have a picture of your factory, huh? Let's see. Wow! That is like an M.C. Escher painting, or the play... What's that, um... <sighs> that YouTube channel that we talks about trying that was trying to go as spaghetti as possible or whatever. You definitely got that mode going down. Full spaghetti mode activate. Honestly, though, full spaghetti factories are pretty cool looking. <laughs> I think they're pretty cool looking sometimes. Get my input for this. About right there. You got the credits at about a hundred hours, but you keep playing. That's what your factory looks like too, huh? Alright. We got some speed running factory designs, I guess. Alright, all those plugged in. Yes, I did put a tier 4 belt, which we don't really need, but that's what... Well, actually, yeah, I'm gonna swap those out, because we don't need a tier. Okay, that should... Hopefully, I mean, these guys start kicking on here. Uh, we will have all of the items, I think, for Phase 3, and I can actually start working on Phase 3 factories. Finally. Let me see. I'm, gonna, I'm watching for these circuit boards to turn on. Or to start inserting here. There it is. We have them kicking on. Beautiful. Um, outputs. Outputs. So... Do, 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 do. Um, okay. There. Well, I have that in the way, so I think what I did was, yeah, I actually went to the side, and I am going to go into the side here. There. Ok, 
Pastoran did a good job planning for. I just needed to go to the side output there. Side output there. And that is high speed connectors. Bam! Not very fast. How many are we making a minute? I didn't say. Uh, three times four. Twelve a minute. We're making twelve a minute. So not a super huge amount of them. Okay. It's just so easy and convenient to build that way. Yeah, it actually is. If you if you just like stack things on top of each other, have tons of spaghetti, don't do all the calculations, just build a bunch of stuff, it's definitely faster. Definitely the quick way to com complete the game. All right. And merger. This guy. With a merger. There. 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 There we go. And let me see here. Let's see things here for now into my storage here. Um, and I think I have high speed connectors. Yes, I have some from my other build, but I'm going to speed up these things starting to be filled by doing this and this. Should... Actually, I don't know that that did anything, but... Because uh, at my back, at my temporary, permanent, temporary, permanent base, um, we did have a build making high-speed connectors. Okay, I think finally, finally, I'm ready to plan out how I want to do my factories for my actual Phase 3 stuff. Um... But I think what I might do before I even do that is I have some items for phase three back in my permanent, temporary, permanent base. So I'm going to go over there, fly over there real, real quick. And I think I'm going to build a train to transport these things over here. I'm going to want to have access to these things. I see purple slug. Can I grab this without getting killed by something? Just a little bit of radiation poisoning. Never hurt nobody! Oh, crap! I swear... Oh, my God. I swear enemies don't spawn sometimes. They just don't spawn. Is there just a Mercer Sphere over here? There is. Like, I was looking. I was waiting for something to spawn in. It never spawned in. And then, right as I try to pick it up, a freaking thing spawns in. Trolly-ass game. Mercer Spear I never picked up, apparently. You gonna come at me, or...? Oh my! Where did you come? I, I'm telling you, man! These things just appear from literal nowhere! Oh my god. You literally weren't there. <sighs> that's, the, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about with optimization in this game, where, like... There's just invisible shit sometimes. And then the loading, the... The game, like, just lagging out on me so much. Oh my god. You feel FTL salt. Well, it's more game... It's salt from game lack of optimization that's bugging me today, I'll be honest. Is there actually a... Is there an option for passive critters? I didn't know that existed. 
If that existed, I didn't know about it. I did not know that that was a thing, if that's a thing. Uh, I need some more fuel. It's just gamer salt, yes. You think it's a performance issue and it gets worse as the city grows? I think that's true. I think that is true. All right, where? Here it is. See, so I have a whole thing of these versatile frameworks. Do I also have something else? This is my old, 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 old base. I want to get, I honestly want to get rid of a lot of this stuff. But I just haven't taken the time to do it. Um, where are, where were the other phase three items? There's the frameworks, or phase two items, I think it was. Here, out of the, this wiring right here. Where is this out of, this wiring right here. Yes, and I'm pretty sure this is also a part of uh, what should we call it? Uh, part of phase three stuff. So what I want to do is I want to get access to these items for my next build. So because they're, they're just sitting over here gathering dust, and they're really only used for. Um, phase items as far as I know so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a little train outcropping and lo load up a train for items freaking yeah okay. right, I'm gonna build myself a little train extension here real fast Load up a train with items. Bring back to our base. Okay, there. Let me put a little, um... Thing there so that as I place a train, hopefully it won't, uh, mess anything up here. So a quick little train, because this is going to be the fastest way to move materials to my base. I have a couple of... I think I can load these manually? Yes. Yes. I should be able to just do a couple of control click things here. Uh, there's one project part that isn't just used for phases or other project parts, but you'll let me find out which one it is. Okay. So we do this. You set critters to reactive after you got credits. Combat is not that fun for you when you're laying train tracks. Yeah, I I agree with that. I kind of don't like messing with combat. Sometimes, just like in Factorio. Uh, this. Okay. Let me get rid of that storage thing now. And this wiring, I think, is going to keep making, but I'm kind of fine with that. I don't, I don't care. It keeps making. This is again my old factory with stuff I'm not really using, so it can do its thing. This will just help me jumpstart my phase three stuff. I think it might have something to do with motors. That is the thing that uh, is used for not just the phase stuff. I think turbo motors or something like that. But I think that might be later, or maybe one of these pieces is for turbo motors or something. I forget, to be honest. Oh, uh, what's this? There we go. So now I can take this stuff 
back to my base. And I can unload it, and that's way faster than having to load it myself. Or, like, use a, a belt to move all this stuff. to offload this so that I'm not blocking all the other trains. Uh, I'm gonna use... Okay, all right. Uh, Rerail. Let's back up a little bit here. Uh, nothing to see here, chat. Nothing to see here. I, I swear there was an arrow pointing like that shouldn't have happened, but it's fine. How do I rerail? Rerail train. There we go. <laughs> Parking space in use. Occupado! Occupado! Sorry. Sorry about that. Alright, let me let me just clear this up here. This, this. I'm just gonna deconstruct this thing. We'll 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 fix this in a bit. I was expecting something like this to happen. Um But I was I thought I was gonna be parking in that open space and uh apparently I wasn't. You never seen that? You didn't know that could happen? Oh yeah, yeah, trains. It's the second time I think we've done that actually. It's the second time I've crashed a train into another train. It happens when you, uh, you know, have too many trains on a track and don't handle it correctly. We're going to have all of our trains all backed up here. You wonder what will finally happen? Oh, it's not the first time. And I'm sure it won't be the last. I'm sure it won't be the last. I'll stupidly do that on accident at some point again, I'm sure. Okay, this, this, this. That train moving, that train's moving. This train, I feel like, is all... <laughs> I don't know what to do! It's fine, it's fine. Turn on self-driving, you, you'll be fine, sir, you'll be fine. It's all fine. Okay. Uh, Rand, stop playing with your toy train, sorry about that. Thank you for calling Fix-It Workers' Compensation Claim Support Line. How can I help you today? Would you like to file a claim? <laughs> uh, how is my driving? Uh, nobody report that, please. Nobody report my driving, please. All right, so I got, I got a bunch of frameworks. I think I might be able to just deliver these into here. I'm trying to decide how I want to set this up. What I think I want to do... I think I want storage because the, the space needle is where these phase three stuff things need to go. I think what I want to do is have storage underneath the space needle and I deliver to the storage which then goes up into the space needle. So this will be the first time I'm actually interacting with what's inside of the space needle thing here. So setting up some sort of storage in here is probably what I want to do. Uh, Thomas had never seen such a cheeky commotion. Is that Thomas the Train? Yeah. So... I don't want to set up storage in here. I want the inside of this to, like, look cool. It already looks kind of cool with, you know... All these pillars. Can I get storage in here that doesn't look ridiculous? Maybe, uh, maybe like a central layer. Where's the middle? The middle. The middle is this layer right here. So if I had a floor extending out. Um. Uh, here. 
And I might like metal and goldify this little middle layer or something. This is where the Pharaoh would rest or, you know, be my tomb as the slave driving king I am or whatever. Um, okay. So we have inputs there, and then we have, like, a storage area in the middle here. To store all my worldly possessions that I must take into the afterlife. Because I am a pharaoh king. King pharaoh Tutman. Randed Tutman. Something. Alright, uh, let's see. Storage is in the middle. King Randed Tutman. What is Tutankhamun? Randed and Tutman. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, okay, something like this. Um, these would be delivering to the guys. And I would input probably through the hole in the ground. It's probably what I would do. We have this hole in here. Randy's the third. That's right. Randy's the third. Yeah, I could probably set something up here. Um, if I were to do this, and then set up a bunch of floor holes here. How many can I fit? I think nine? We can fit nine of those here. Um, can I metallicize these things? I can, right? Coat of concrete. And then... Good! There we go. And I can deliver items into here from here. Um... And my storage guys are right there. So I probably do something like, uh... Hmm. Let me figure this out. Maybe I don't want these storage guys right in the middle, actually. Maybe what I want is a storage thing on many different foundations up here. Have them all delivering separately kind of thing. And uh, I can figure out the placement of these. So in the very middle of that guy. Ooh, okay, I got an idea. So like, middle of each of these platforms. Uh, which one was the middle one? The middle one was that one. I misplaced that one. Make sure I'm right that the middle one is... Yeah, that one right there. Okay, good. There. He's going the wrong direction, aren't they? 
Ah, oh, I can I can never get these going in the right direction. That uh, should be going. There. Something like that. And wherever I end up building these items, we deliver them to the bottom of the temple to go into the Space Needle. And we only have three items for now. There we go. And so those are the three middle guys. Finally have a use for our pyramid. Temple ziggurat thingy. All right, now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do storage for each of these things in a way that looks cool. Um, do I do another level above this maybe with the actual storage? Or are there... Okay, there's there's three on this side. Are they on each side? There's only okay. There's only two sides. There's only six in total of these things. Is that right? Six entrances in total, inputs I should say. Okay, only six in total. Um. All right, I might do more with this later, but for now, I'll do this. This and this. This going the wrong direction. What the hell? What? What in the hell? I think I did the things on the wrong side. Uh, oh wait, it's the wrong thing. It's this one. I had the wrong. That's why. There we go. What in tarnation? Uh, shaking my head, debasing this glorious monument with something as vile as function and purpose. Okay. Okay, so, um, now i got to figure out what I'm building, because I have some of the items that I just brought over. What am I actually building here? Pretty sure two of them take assemblers and one of them takes a manufacturer, I think. See, that guy just loaded in. For virtual frameworks, we probably have the 2500 we need of those. Um... Okay, so are the other are the other two these things? Yes. Modular engines which requires smart plating. Is that adaptive control units which uses the automated wiring. Okay, these are both very these are all pretty complicated builds. Um do any of these require the Adaptive frameworks. I don't think any of these require the uh, versatile frameworks, I mean to say. So those I can kind of just deliver and maybe not do a factory, although I probably should do a factory because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need one later. So I should do a factory for each one of these items, even if I have a bunch of one of these items. So modular frames and steel beams. Do I have any space left in this middle area, or I've, I've pretty much used all of my space up? It feels like I've used up basically all of my space up underneath our uh, pyramid here. So probably I'm going to have to build over our new expansion area. 
Make a factory, make it satisfactory. All right, pun number four of the day or something. Uh, I want to deliver these frameworks. Okay, what I want to do here real quick is I want to... I actually do want to just make space for this. So let me, let me dump out some junk real quick here. Give me a bit, chat, to just do some delivery, some tidying up that I don't really want to do, but I kind of need to do. I just dump everything in there, except my fuel so I can run around. Take all that. Can I take all of this? Yes, I can. Okay. I think I'll just deliver these real fast so I can get them where I need them to go. Because the versatile frameworks, I'm just going to kind of cheese, manually deliver them, even though I will create a factory for them. For now, I'm going to cheese them. Uh, that. A merger. Auto save on it feels like it's happening way more than I want it to. I thought I turned it down four minutes now. Let's go ten minutes. Since I haven't, cr as soon as I do this, I'm going to start crashing every minute, obviously, because that's just how how life works. But all right, so there we go. So that that'll get those started. Um, I have the the wiring on me. I might need to clear some inventory space to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to put that in wherever I make my automated wiring factory. Let's hopefully go pick up all of our stuff. Breaking my own ankle. Getting ready for seven days to die this Friday. Breaking my ankles over and over. Yeah, so there's still a few things I can't quite fit. Um... Alright, just a little bit of housekeeping. I'm gonna throw some of these. I'll, I'll move the uh, automated wiring over eventually, but for now, let me just throw it into another storage I have over here that's by my base. There. At least have moved. I think I've moved everything I need to from my temporary base now. I think that was the last thing I was going to need to move from my temporary base, which was permanent temporary base, which is the automated wiring and the versatile frameworks that I had created for completing phase two. All right, so let's start with the factory that I probably need the least because we are delivering those items right now, and that's the versatile frameworks. Um... Uh, Let's build a factory over in our new area that we just created. This one will be pretty quick and easy because it's an uh, assembler factory. The other ones are going to be manufacturer factories. So well, I made this large space. I thought it was going to be huge, and I can already tell this is not going to be nearly big enough. Giggity for um, for all the things I'm going to need to build, I'm sure. Uh, actually, no, I want to move this over one more space. Okay, assembler factory for the versatile frameworks front. Okay. 
Okay, actually, I should be good to move this. There, I think. I think like that. Will that work? I think that will work. Doubled up on some things. Here, let me undouble up some pieces. Okay. All right, so this is for versatile frameworks. 30 steel beams and 2.5 modular frames a minute. And I think I... I think I have enough versatile frameworks. What's the storage capacity of a... Um, storage container? How much fits in here? I don't know what the stack size is of these guys, actually. Uh, but 1, 2, 3 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 times 3. 24 stacks. 24 stacks. So I'm curious how many... If I actually need to build any more. Because it looks like it might have stopped at 1,200. It actually looks like I do need to build some more of these. I thought I had enough for the entire... Uh, objective, but apparently not. And I even sunk a bunch of those in a an awesome sink at one time. So apparently this thing carried 1,200 in total. So I do actually need to make more of these. Okay, good to know. So I do actually need to just make this factory. I don't have any excuse to not make the factory. So I need uh, modular frames and steel beams. The steel beams are right close to us, so that'll be nice and quick and easy. Now, I think what I might want to do, with all the spaghetti over here, I kind of want to take this out and around the other way, but... It's so awkward. Because uh, I cause I didn't... I've been trying to plan out well, but I didn't plan out all of my belts for my initial factories going initial factories going back and forth between factories so how to get things from here over to the pyramid I'll have to stack more stuff spaghetti he says describing the most sorted conveyor belt setup ever it's not nearly as organized as I would ideally like it to be is what I will say I'm glad you think it's really well sorted but it's not not as sort as well sorted as I would like what's up Tim Tim happy Wednesday to you okay so I'll need to bring steel beams and modular frames over here and then I would need to output my virtual framework that way how do I go about doing this Because eventually what I'm going to want is a bunch of items input to the bottom of my pyramid. That's what I just set it up for. So maybe what I do is I keep stacking on this for things that are going back and forth. But here, I set up an input for these guys. And this is not even lined up with... <laughs> The way I have these these things here. I mean, could I even get nine different inputs here is the question. And that might be a challenge. Well, if I plan now, maybe. I don't have a leg to stand on, chat. 
Okay. So this could be my inputs for uh, our Space Needle Pyramid here. Which is going to look a little funky because, you know, I didn't plan it out from the beginning. But nine layers here. So I should be able to input all these here if I want to... There's nine layers. So something like this will be our inputs for all of our once and future king space needle inputs. There we go. We now have nine inputs into our our guy here. It's a little bit of overlap. It's fine. It's fine. So this is my planned, <laughs> totally pre-planned way of delivering all phase items. So that will be the input. I need to not interact with that. So anytime I need to move stuff here, which will probably be a lot, I'll just have to stack more things, stack more belts here. So I need to bring uh, modular frames and steel beams. Steel beams are right here, so that'll be a quick one. And I'm not even delivering steel beams that many places, so this will be nice and at least fairly straightforward. So I can bring steel beams to... to this line right here. But now we should be more organized on this new loop, at least with this, you know, attempt at being more organized here. And I don't think I'm going to worry about making these fast. These phase three things are not things we have to make quickly. So there is a there is a splitter that counts how many items are let out, isn't there? Isn't there a splitter that counts how many items can go through? Because I don't want to make any more than I need to, or I don't want to send any more than I need to at first. Is there a splitter? Where are the splitters? Only allows a specific part. I think there might be a ma'am that I haven't done yet. Programmable splitter. Yes, I want to do this. Uh, 100 AI limiters. I should have those. I automated those a couple streams ago, thankfully. <laughs> okay. What does this do? Programmable splitter unlocked. This upgrade to the Smart Splitter provides additional options to improve conveyor belt logistics. Okay, additional options. I think what that allows is I can have this factory making stuff and then the output only let through as many items as I want it to. I think is how that works. Smart programmable. Let me see. Although I would need a merger first. Uh, merger here. Into programmable splitter here. Does this let me let only a certain number of items? 
Uh, am I crazy? Oh, that's cool. There's this little thingy behind my head. Um, versatile framework. Uh, framework. Uh, okay, it doesn't let me just type it in, apparently. Add. No. Oh, I can let multiple items. Oh, that's cool. So it'll let more than one item through. Dude, I can't find the item I'm actually looking for. But can I let it only... Can I get it to only let a certain number through? Like a counter splitter? Or am I crazy? I don't know if I can... Only let a certain number through like I was wanting to. So this will let certain items through in different directions. So that is cool... But I don't think I can tell it to make only a certain number of items go through. It doesn't have logic to that degree, apparently. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. That's another win for Factorio. Yeah. There's no valve for belts. You can split unevenly so that only a small percent gets through, but not a rate limiter. Okay. So what I'm going to have to do is, like, depower the factory after it makes as many as I need. Because what I don't want is a belt with a bunch of versatile frameworks sitting on the uh, on the thing forever because eventually I'm probably gonna want to move that somewhere else but okay well I can't I can't control it that well sadly um, good to know good to know uh, all right so I need to input steel beams let's get that going first you want to make sure that only 60 a minute gets through I can put it on a mark one belt yeah I could you're right I could valve it for Speed of belt, but that's about all I can do. But that's not really what I want. Alright, steel beams. And that is not straight. That's why I should always use straight mode to make sure I got things straight. I hear animals. Rand. Okay, true, true. Sorry, I uh, was mean to whatever was making that sound. One of those animal, pig, elephant, rhino thingies. Alright, so how would I get these across if I had a, another belt? Probably would want to do something like uh, if I do that, that'll get in the way. I almost feel like I should have a an underneath delivery for these guys. Yeah, what if I did? That. There we go. That way I can deliver it fairly cleanly here. To the input, which will probably be on this wall right here. Two items for here. Time to do it that way. It feels like it gets right in my face. So uh, let me.
Gotta do it that way. Just use default rather than straight. Okay. Um, is that what I want to do? Next one would go above it. I think actually what I want to do is turn that. Goes like that. I think that will leave me more space. All right, so that steel beam is being delivered. I think so. Why am I delivering steel beams? Oh, it's circuit boards. That's the wrong thing. Should be this. Steel beams, yes. Control, copy, paste, 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 paste. There we go. Steel beams. That should be good. Okay, so all those are yellow with hopefully the right items being delivered. Very good. Okay, so steel beams and was it modular frames, I think is the other thing. Yeah, modular frames, which are on the complete other side of the factory over there. I need to get over here. Or, no, heavy modular frames are on that side. I think regular modular frames are just over here, maybe? Let's see. Yeah. There's a stack of modular frames, so I can stack on top of these modular frames. Bring across. Uh, all right, so we have one output currently. I could do a second output here, right? Yes. Go. All right, so we are going to stack this on top of these modular frames here. Will I put a glass floor above the belts in the end or hide them? I have no idea. Uh, glass belt sounds cool. Sounds like that would look really cool. But no idea, no idea yet what I will do for that. How well do they stack if I just do it that way? It's not too bad, actually. Just putting belts on top of belts. A satisfactory way. Belts on top of belts. <laughs> I don't think you used to be able to put belts on top of belts. But I guess this is keeping me from having to um, make stackables since you can't stack. I, I still think the number one thing I wish this game had... Oh, is this not straight? I don't know. Was that you could just stack stackable belt supports on top of conveyor poles. I, I don't understand why stackable conveyor poles have never been allowed to be put on conveyor poles. That feels like just a, just a complete and utter no-brainer to just put in the game for making the game look better. And they just have never done that, and I just don't understand it. But you can put belts on top of belts, so I guess it's fine. Just put belts on top of belts. What else do you need? It's a belt sandwich. <laughs> Delicious. Yum, I love belt sandwiches. They're my favorite. Is 
This feels so goofy to me to be just putting belts on top of belts, but... I mean, I guess I'm glad I can do it, because otherwise I'd have to make a bunch of stackable poles. I just wish I could put stackable poles on regular poles, and I feel like this would be better. Who knows what kind of technical debt they would have to work around to make it function like I want it to. I mean... I don't know. I feel like it wouldn't be that hard, but I'm not a game programmer, so maybe it would be difficult. Trying to not move on my belts. Isn't that a thing in Factorio 2? You eventually get an upgrade that makes it so that you can walk on your belts without them moving you around. That's a thing, eventually. With all the other stuff they've added, I feel like it wouldn't be that hard to make it so that you could... Um, put stackables on top of just regular conveyor poles, but must be difficult or they just never thought of it or something. Um, how am I going to get over this without it being a complete and utter mess? I guess like this. Oh, that doesn't even line up. Oh, that sucks. Uh, okay, well, we'll have it line up right here with straight. Go. That. That. There we go. Is that for still frameworks in the books? All right, that'll slowly do what we need it to do. Um, do I want versatile frameworks in my dimensional depot? I probably should have it be in my dimensional depot, right? I don't know. It feels like it feels like the phase stuff I just don't need in my dimensional depot. Do you think I do need it, Grima? What's up, Grima? Are we building a Dyson sphere? <laughs> kind of. Uh, I mean, there's a space needle connected to a space station, so it's a space needle. People who have finished your playthrough, do I need versatile frameworks in my dimensional depot? Are any structures that I'm going to need to build going to require versatile frameworks. I feel like they're not. I feel like I will only need versatile frameworks for other higher tier phase stuff. Anybody Bueller Bueller? Bueller Bueller, anybody know? Guess nobody wants to spoil it for me, so um these Let's get the output delivered to the pyramid. And then we will take our break, our first break here. And I will deliver this. We're going to want these on the far side, aren't we? So maybe what I do... I have an extra set of these guys. Oh, 
on the far side. And for now, I'll do... We'll do three. And the first one will be on the bottom row. You love these playtime notifications? You get your first taste of them with Anno Games? And you've been a fan ever since? Those factories could stand to be more passive-aggressive. A la, you've been playing for eight hours. How's the family? And then, if you're like me, you start crying and say, I don't have a family. Thanks for asking. The lonely, lonely, middle-aged man. Thanks. Thanks for reminding me of how lonely I am. Are you happy? Are you happy, Satisfactory, for reminding me of how lonely I am? Um, and I'm going to have this just be straight on the ground, even though it goes through a belt here. I'm just going to do that. But yeah, it is nice that they, you know, have this whole, you should touch grass. <laughs> You've been playing for 24 hours straight. Do you need a doctor? Are you addicted? It is nice. It's a nice old touch. Funky that spacing there. That's fine. It's funny you say, I would like more passive aggressiveness. <laughs> Isn't that usually what you want less of? Less passive aggressiveness from the people you interact with? Yeah, I guess it depends on your personality, huh? Better passive aggressive than confronting aggressive, maybe? So the way this is going to work is we will have stacks of poles here. This guy will go like that. And that's pa uh, that should be versatile frameworks. Let's plug that in. I have no idea where that's going right now. Let's plug it in. One of our belts that will deliver while we are AFK. Uh, taking our break so that Satisfactory will not passively aggressively yell at us. Um... Can I see which one is delivering them? Pretty sure it's this one. It's so dark. Okay, I think there's a height issue here. Okay, I did choose the right one, though. I think maybe I didn't go high enough on that one. There. There we go. Uh... Don't worry, Rand. Someday you'll be able to scan your brain and grow a couple a copy of yourself with your memories. It can be like having a family, just existentially horrifying. Cool. I can't wait. <laughs> but wait, don't I already have that? His name is Farb. We are doppelgangers and stuff. Great work. You dodged just enough for me to do zero effing damage. Past Rand says to current Rand. Yeah. All right. So are those numbers going up yet? Uh, no, because I don't have the delivery into the right place. Where is it? Here. So I think it is. Crap, which one is it? It's this one right over here. There. Beautiful. 
All right, and then I got some in my inventory, and you know what? I think I did anyway. Full frameworks. Maybe I didn't. Ah, oh, yes, I did. Here, Let's throw those in there. Okay, so there we go. Uh, you all enjoy the view of versatile frameworks going to work for us. We're gonna GG cookie time. We have our first of our three phase three items automated. Hopefully, we will get all three of these automated today. And they will slowly build, be building us to phase three that we can hopefully be ready for by Friday. So y'all free to grab a drink, grab a snack, stand up, stretch. When we come back, have a, have a cookie. Uh, we will continue automating these things. And hopefully, maybe you get phase three done today. Y'all rock. See you in a bit, my friends.